Yes, my peoples, it's T and I'm back. Yes, it's been a while, I know, I know, but The Apprentice is back. So let's let's do let's try and do a regular occurrence of some apprentice breaks down and reviews each week. So without further ado, let's get it. Come on. I ain't done that for a while. Alright, so I'm not gonna make this too long because um yeah, first video back in a while and The Apprentice is is a long one. And last year was actually not a good series, but series 18, series 18. I'm looking forward to seeing what they have in store for this one, not as much as last year. Um, to be fair, I've already heard that they've lost 2 million in viewers. Normally the opening episode of Apprentice is huge, but they've actually this year it was 2 million people less than the previous year, which I'm not surprised about because honestly, last year was terrible. Um, but yeah, let's quickly get into the, the characters and then I, I'm gonna quickly get into what occurred in episode one of The Apprentice. So let's go. All right, so. Um, here we have Amina. Amina Khan um, is one of the um, contestants this year. She has already amassed two million pounds in her three years of business um, of skincare supplements, which is, I guess, on brand. Um, I'm not going to get too much into her, but yeah, Amina Khan. All right. Dr. Asif, <laughs> listen, episode one, no spoilers, but he's already annoyed me. <laughs> I don't like him. But let's see, let's see if he can redeem himself. But yeah, not a fan of him so far. I'm gonna be honest. Um, don't know. I'm not even gonna read what his what his um idea is. But looks like it's something to do with some sort of smoothies or something. Um, Flo Edwards didn't really see her in the episode, but recruitment consultant um from London. Yeah. Um, this woman, project manager from Manchester. Um, yeah. Again, haven't seen much of her, but let's see how she does. Um, you know, there's a there's a lot lot more diversity this year in The Apprentice. And Jack Davies, typical Jack the lad from Bristol, literally called Jack as well. Um, so yeah, he's 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 also a director. Um, so at his business, so that's good. That's good. Um, Maura Roth, yeah, interesting. Nor seen her a few times. Her accent, the Scouts accent. I'm sorry, Scouts out there are listening. Scouts accent is so harsh on the ears. I know people might may say the same thing about Brummies Birmingham, but Scouts accent is very strong on the ears. So I hope you don't talk too much. <laughs> um, Oliver, yeah, honestly, um, didn't see much of him this, um, in the first episode, but we'll get to that later on. Um, he looks like he's like 10 years old, but also 50 at the same time. I don't know, but anyway. Um, this lady also, um, yeah, very well spoken, um, from what I've seen. Um, and apparently Alan Sugar needs her, not her needing him. So let's see. Let's see. Paul, I didn't see him. Oh, there's two Pauls, there's Dr. Paul and there's Paul. Um, yeah, there's been, there's actually lots of doctors and pharmacists and all of that this year. Phil Turner, already don't like him as well. Um, yeah, but we'll get to that a bit later on. Um, Rachel, Raj, um, oh, she's a multi, oh, she wants to be a multi by the time she's 50, okay, okay, from Leamington Spa, see, I could hear a bit of a Midlands accent in her, in her, um, in the way she speaks, so, um, I'm glad I got that right, and Sam, yeah, typical Essex, Steve, yeah, I'm not going to get in, <laughs> into these, <laughs> Trey Lowe, this guy looks familiar, like, he looks so familiar, um, Maybe oh, maybe he looks familiar because he's from a garage band. Interesting. But yeah, anyway, um, the way how he came dressed, all suave, interesting. Verdi, we'll get to him later, but uh, yeah, not a fan so far as well. Um, but he's from Leicester, so and the Midlands crew is kind of massive, kind of massive. But yeah, that's the kind of intro of Apprentice. I know I'm going through this at a whistle stop, very quick, very quick, but I want to get into some clips, so... And my and my thoughts on you know the first episode thus far. So let's 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 play some clips actually. Let's play some let's play some clips and see exactly what occurred in episode one. So f first clip. <sighs> Arsenal fans. Yeah, honestly, get Phil out straight away. 
get Phil out straight away. Arsenal fan, what is that about? What is that about? Get him out. Shouldn't be. Shouldn't even be bringing Arsenal fans into this. Yuck, <laughs> yuck. But um, yeah. Obviously, there's there's lots of um different candidates. I think there's 18 in total this year. Um, but yeah, very interesting start. And obviously, at the moment, at the start, they're split into the, the women's and the men's. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if in future with all of this you know, um, wokeness and PCness that they mix up, they mix up the groups from the start in future years. But, um, yeah, they had a discussion to set who, the, who, the, who the PMs are. Um, and they decided on the PMs and decided on the, on the group, by the way, the, the task is based in Scotland and Scotland is such a beautiful, beautiful looking place. It's been on my list for many, many, many years to visit. And I need to go and visit it within the next year or two I have to it look so great. But anyway, um, the boys, they chose Verdi as their PM and the girls chose Onyeka as their PM. Um, in, actually, I'm going to play another clip and then we can talk through it. But interesting, this is a very interesting um, clip, actually. Based on that, a lot of people have their feelings towards our country. So I think it's just a lot closer to go with the Lara Sorry, I used to feel like it was Scotland until the last few times I've been here. I'm feeling the water. So literally, literally, um, they had a vote after this and they um, decided to all go with the the water tour, I guess. Obviously, I get it. You're in you're in, in Scotland. So you want to, you know, the lock is quite the main the main kind of pool, one of the, the big um, tourist attractions in Scotland. Um, but as Anyeka mentioned, she can't swim. Um, and are people really going to want to do some sort of activity in water? Um, but she done it in a in a in a, a democracy. And um, they decided to choose a water tour as opposed to a land tour, which is, I'm not sure if that's going to come back to bite them or not, but interesting one, to say the least. Um, and then let's get into another clip. Let's get into another clip. If this, if this actually wants to play. Yeah. Honestly, so this clip, it's not playing right now, but essentially what this clip was about is Verdi and this garage guy talking about um, their expertise and then Birdie's face actually cracked me up. The way, the way how his face has completely changed um, when the ladies said, we'll give you 240. His, he looks completely dumbfounded, dumbfounded when, um, <laughs> when they said 240. Look at this face here. He was like, sorry, what? I asked for 450 and 240 is your max. He couldn't believe it. Um, but honestly, Birdie, I find him very, very cringe over the top over the top very cringe um but maybe that will change over time we'll see we'll see um so i'm gonna get straight into another clip as well which is very nicely brings me nicely onto um onto verdi again as well um because yeah hilarious this was this was this wasn't even that high up this wasn't even that high up and he was scared to come down this fair enough though he might he might have a fair of heights you may have a fair of heights, but this I found this clip hilarious. But the good the good thing about Verdi though, I, I, I do, even though I find him a little bit cringe, I do like his mentality. Um the way how he set out his his stall at the start of of the of, of you know him being a PM. He's like, I want you guys to be open and positive and I want you to, you know, under promise and over deliver. All of this stuff, I love that. Um, just setting out the standards, everyone on the same page from the top. So I do like that. Um, there wasn't much of a democracy in the men's side. It looked like they just decided, land, boom, let's go. Whereas the women did do a bit of a democracy, but they did seem a little more uncertain in a few areas. Um, and then that brings me nicely on to my next clip, which... Listen... <laughs> Listen, let me pause this. What has Tim been eating? I need to go to the gym. I'm gonna as soon as I finish this video, I'm going to the gym because Tim, Tim, I didn't know Tim was hench like this. What's going on? Man came out in his man. Yo, listen, mad, mad. I need to, I need to go to the gym. But the lack of alcohol definitely um, 
to be fair, alcohol for me is too much of a of a big discussion in these topics. But I get it if it's a if it's a a work event, if it's a you know team building event, most people do drink. So uh, you know you kind of have to have some sort of level of alcohol there. So that was a big miss there from from Phil. Um, yeah, big miss there from Phil. And to be fair, that brings me nicely onto my next clip as well in relation to Phil. Sorry, the girls. Look at this. She can't swim. She said it already. And look what happens now. They all say they can't swim. <laughs> no one can swim. No one thought about this. <laughs> no one, no one, no one thought about this when they all voted and said, "I, I, yes, let's do a, a water, um, a water activity." No one thought, "Oh, we all can't swim, so maybe we should actually choose." something else actually absolutely ridiculous in my opinion absolutely ridiculous um i don't know what what was there but somebody stepped up eventually anyway um somebody stepped up eventually so yeah it's it's um yeah it's 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 a bit crazy but on top of that the girls continued their continued their dysfunction um continued their dysfunction um by doing really really poor cooking like how can you mistake breadcrumbs for apple crumble something sweet and sugary for something which is breaded ridiculous and as and as um karen said the worst she's been doing the show for how many years and that's the worst not even just a show just in general that's the worst food that she has encountered ever i'm not surprised because what was going on here like what was going on there so yeah insane um but Next clip. Let's let's go into another clip. Let's go into another, let's go into another clip. This ain't gonna, this ain't gonna play now, is it? Unfortunately, but this is where essentially um, Alan Sugar was debriefing the two teams about their participation, I guess, in the task. And there was a, a section where there was saying, "Yeah, the girls done well." And then when it got to talking about um, Amina and her sub PM um, abilities, Raj completely just dismissed her and was like. Yeah, well, there was no, there was no delegation. There was nothing. It was all me in the kitchen. Um, she was very stern, very stern, very aggressive, and very um, passive aggressive in in her tone, which is hilarious. I felt sorry for Amina, who also reminds me of Ugly Betty. Has anybody seen Ugly Betty or um, is it something Saving Jane or Private? Whatever. She's in a few shows. That that America Foster is the actor. She reminds me a little bit of a an Asian America Foster. Um, but anyway, yeah. That was, I thought that was a hilarious clip, but obviously that is not playing on this occasion. But we get that fixed next time. Um, yeah, and then bring me nicely onto my next clip, which is also in the boardroom. Also in the boardroom. This clip cracked me up. Asif is a joke, man. <laughs> Look at him. Look at him, he's like, yes. He's a businessman. Can't do math. And, uh, they won't be here. Obviously, they got refunds because they was shocking. Food, food was awful. And look at Asif clapping like a waste man. No, you don't. Look at everyone's face. Look at look at everyone. Look, look at everyone's face. Look at everyone's face. Look at the girls. She's laughing. This girl already is laughing at him. <laughs> and Yeka's like, huh? <laughs> is everything okay at home? <laughs> It's not looking good. Yeah. So, eventually they made a loss of 600, of 500 pounds. Crazy. Crazy. So, the girls won in the end. Um, the girls won in the end. Asif is a joke, man. For me, I would have, if I was Alan Sugar, I would have fired him right there and then just for that. Because that's, cause why are you celebrating? Um, like, like even if even if he did win, even if he did beat the girls, it was all so poor all round. It's just ridiculous. Um, but then we came to the last of it, which is deciding and seeing who actually won the week. Or oh, sorry, who got kicked out, sorry, this week. So um, let's play that clip. Well, it's not going to play, but essentially um, it was very, very close between um, Verdi and I forgot this guy's name because he wasn't even really involved and he done absolutely nothing. But this is the guy who actually got sent home. He got sent packing. He got cooked. He was not good. Um, so, yeah, essentially, 
um, first week. First week was jokes, but honestly, it feels like more of the same. Like they need to do something different with Apprentice now. They need to change it up or have some new task or some new kind of concept because I know it's a you know long going saga. There's an American version, UK version, Australian version, all of that stuff. But yeah, it's more of the same. It's like they just copy and pasted the characters from the previous years and the editing is, uh, yeah. For me, it wasn't great, but let's see how the following weeks go. But that was my breakdown of Apprentice first week. Honestly, the girls are shocking. The men are also shocking. And so far, there's not one standout character that I can see. But on we go. Next week is a task about creating mini cheesecakes hopefully verdi you know verdi this round saved himself by chatting so much rubbish he's just very good at chatting but um yeah also the one part i forgot to mention is when the um the garage guy said something very spicy he was like so phil said um um if you're talking about me say my name the the garage guy was like listen i'll say your name in a second mate <laughs> i'll say your name in a second relax but anyway next week is mini cheesecakes um and I'm looking forward to it because I like cheesecakes. Post. So let's see. It's another, I feel like it's another cooking task, which there was cooking involved this week. So let's see if they can improve their cooking skills. And that was my breakdown of The Apprentice. Um, if you like that, like, comment, subscribe. If you didn't, then don't. And um, if you want to see this in a different format, let me know that too. But thank you again. And welcome back 2024. Happy New Year to you all. Peace. Yeah.